89,953. That's how many motorcyclists have been killed on Malaysian roads in the past 20 years. To put that number into context, think about a packed Bukit Jalil National Stadium which has a 90,000 seating capacity. According to World Health Organization statistics from 2021, Malaysia ranks third in the world for road danger with 22.48 deaths per 100,000 people. Out of that, 60% are motorcyclists. So how can we make our roads safer for motorcyclists? Analyst Charisma Putra Rahman of Bait Al Amana says, the lack of legislation on lane splitting and filtering are one of the reasons for the high number of fatalities. Lane splitting refers to the common practice of motorcycles zipping in and out of lanes between vehicles. Filtering is similar to lane splitting, but this happens when traffic is slow moving or stationary, like at a red light. In, in, in countries where they've allowed motorcycles to go in between lanes, um, they specifically state that it's like when it's coming to a standstill or in a traffic jam. But it does not allow for motorcyclists to weave in between lanes at speed because that is inherently dangerous. But yeah, in, in Malaysia, there's just, we haven't taken a clear stance on it. What's also overlooked is teaching motorcyclists about the dangers of lane splitting. The whole issue of motorcycles zipping in and out of lanes, right? Mm -hmm. None of that it is addressed in the curriculum. Policy intervention must be done in terms of the education side of things. Transport consultant Rosalie Khan says the solution is as simple as getting motorcycles off highways. Other countries like Indonesia, Thailand, China or India don't allow motorcyclists to go on the highways as it is not safe for them to ride alongside vehicles with four or more wheels on the highway as everyone is operating at high speeds. Rosley says this should be paired with the expansion of the motorcycle lane system, which currently covers only a handful of roads in the country. Enforcement of penalties must also be consistent so that riders take the law seriously. There should not be any leeway or lapse in enforcement, such as giving discounts to offenders. This approach is in conflict with those who played by the rules and paid their dues. We can't afford populist methods in dealing with the enforcement of traffic rules and regulations. The staggering number of motorcycle deaths highlight the need to tighten rules and regulation. For now, the fact remains that every one of us has the duty to drive responsibly and make sure our roads are safe for all. Danish Rajariza, FMT News.